I'm a Detroit nigga, but I don't wear no fucking glasses. I don't drink no fucking lean. I took my pain like a champ. Punch a nigga in his mouth. Trying to talk some tough shit. Send my killer to your house, nigga. He gon' make it quick. Fucking on your bitch. All I needed was some county. Don't step, little nigga. I been knew you was phony. Niggas always play it close. What's up, y'all? It's Jay Hitter. Bring you guys back another video. Today, I'll be talking about drive. Kind of tired right now. Got some work in earlier. I'm going to begin some work in in the morning, so I'll probably be waking up. See, that's my drive. My drive is what wakes me up every single day. And what exactly is that? That's being a better person than I was yesterday. You know, as you guys know from my last video, I lost a whole bunch of weight. I was 305 at one point. I'm about 205 right now, maybe a little lower. I haven't really stepped on the scale in a minute, but I will by the end of the month, and I'll be tracking that, probably making videos about that. So, what is drive? Drive is something that you either have or you don't, kind of like genetics. Um, it can be taught, it can be bought, you think that you have it or you don't. And a lot of people in America or everywhere around the world complains about their circumstances or they're a victim to life. And me, myself, I made myself a victim many a times in my life, especially when, you know, I blamed it on depression and blamed it on other people. But at the end of the day, you, it's you. Um, you can't control what anybody else does to you. You can't control what's going to happen in your life, but you can't control your actions and how you go about that. So what's your drive? What's going to wake you up every day? What's going to motivate you to take care of your stuff? What's going to motivate you to make a better future for your life, for your friends, for your family? For me, it's all three of those things. It's myself, my friends, and my family. Also being well off financially, spiritually, um, mentally, I think that's the most important thing is mental. I think we undervalue that a lot, you know, in our society. We focus so much on the physical that we don't often focus on the spirituality and the mental because you have a lot of people walking around and they have nice bodies and you go on Instagram and you see all these nice people, you see all these nice bodies, but a lot of their spirits and a lot of their mentals are kind of messed up because they haven't focused on that. So what's your job? What's going to wake you up every day? What's going to motivate you to take care of business? You know, see me, what made me lose all that weight, what made me want to wake up and start taking care of business and disregard and start saying fuck what other people think is just me. Like, I want to be a better person. I've always envisioned this person that I wanted to be in my head. I always wanted to be strong, well off, fit, look good, you know, take care of my friends, take care of my mom and my dad and take care of the people that's close around me. And that's it. I don't give a fuck about nothing else. If it doesn't deal with me being a better or positive person, then fuck it. I don't want to deal with it, you know, so. And I know 2020 has been kind of tough, especially with the COVID going on. And, you know, many people are passing away. And obviously, if you've been following hip hop or music, we have a lot of our artists die, and it hasn't really been good. And there's been a lot of stuff going on in 2020. But to me personally, I feel like that's no excuse. Just because COVID-19 happened doesn't mean that, for example, the gym's closed. So the gym's closed, so what, is, what does that have to do with anything? You still supposed to be fucking working out, you know? Like, you can work out at home. You can do body weight stuff. You can do push-ups. You can do sit-ups. You can pretty much do anything. So I feel like COVID-19 is no excuse, because if anything, 2020 has been a great year for me physically and mentally and spiritually. Now, am I saying that it's all peaches and creams, and is it all roses? No, obviously not, but it never will be. But you have to ensure that you'll be okay. You have to ensure that you can control yourself. You know, you have to make sure that you're fine, you know, because time is not promised. And I feel like time is a very great concept, especially in the midst of 2020, you know, and having drive because time we can always plan. We always think what we're going to do 10, 20 years ahead. You hear the question all the time. Oh, what do you what do you see yourself next year? Like, where do you see yourself? Like, what do you see yourself doing in 10, 15 years? But to be honest, you don't know how much time you have left. That's not promised. Time is not promised. So that's why I feel like drive is so important. You know, at least let's say if something bad does happen and you pass away, what type of legacy are you going to live? Are people going to know you as that lazy person who never accomplished anything and who just complained all the time? Or are people going to remember you as that person who fucking get it done and who got it done regardless of what? he or she went through, you know? So that's why I feel like drive is very important. And I feel like our society is lacking that because a lot of times in our society, we give our participation trophies, you know, 
to avoid people feelings being hurt. But to be honest, I don't know. I feel like those hard times make a better person. I feel like it made me a better person. Obviously, I'm still dealing with some of that trauma to this day, but I'm pretty sure everybody is. But it's just about how you deal with it. You acknowledge it. You learn from it. And you move on. You're not supposed to dwell on it, which we all struggle with, including me. But you have to learn how to deal with it, you know, if you want to get better. Once again, that's drive. Like Nobody can teach you that, just like the sand always goes. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. I can sit up here and tell you all day, oh, yeah, man, you need to lose out. I mean, you need to work out. You need to lose weight. You need to do this. You need to do that. But you can get all the information all day. We had the internet. You can literally look up anything you want, do anything you want, but you still see people complaining in our society. You still people keep saying stuff not unfair. I mean, it's unfair and stuff not fair. But, I mean, we have all the tools. We have all the essential tools that we have, you know, to do good, to make money, to basically be the best version of yourself. So, I don't know. Like, to me personally, I just want to be a better person than I was yesterday. You know, that's all, I get, that's all I give a fuck about. I don't really care about anything else. So, I feel like drive is, you know, a very important concept that we really need to touch upon, especially going into the new year. I mean, I have nothing against New Year's resolutions, but I feel like if you want to start a New Year's resolution, I feel like you should start now. You know, because at least you'll get a feel for it December going into January. It's not like you're just starting a new year and you place all the stress upon yourself like, oh, damn, it's January 1st. OK, I got to really make it perfect. And then what if you mess up? Then you feel, oh, I didn't get it. It's not perfect. So I can't do anything anymore. I can't do it. You know, I feel like you should start in December to get a feel for it. But hey, that's just me. That's just my opinion. But um, I don't know. I feel like drive is just a very important concept. And, you know, we all need to hone upon that a little bit more on that aspect because, uh, you know, just waking up and, for example, just waking up and going to work out, which I'm probably going to do tomorrow and probably going to wake up about seven o'clock, six o'clock, probably a little bit after it opens and just go ahead and get the workout for the day, go ahead and get the day started. I mean, you know, how bad do you really want it? I mean, we can talk all day. People have goals all day. You know, we have New Year's resolutions, but did you complete any of them for 2020? What did you do? You know, what type of legacy are you going to live? So once again, drive, remember that, have that, and own that. Make goals, wake up and want to do something with your life. Don't just sit around and complain all day. It doesn't help anybody or anything, and it doesn't help you, most importantly. So, yeah, guys, that's it. Go ahead, like, and subscribe. Once again, it's Jay Hidden. I'll be dropping some more videos this month. I'm going to be at least pushing out five, six videos, probably more than that this month. So go ahead, like, and subscribe, and comment. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Niggas out here throwing sets up. Well, if you're ready, nigga, put that vest up. I ain't never killed a nigga, but don't test us. We got big bullets that'll rip that